Hello everyone. How is everyone doing? I see Crescent, SSAP, and Isaiah in chat. Um, just going to launch. Uh, just checking my settings to see that everything is properly um, set up. So do not worry a bit. I'm just um, checking everything. So this is that's not properly set up. But you, where is it? Firefox. Uh, is the audio everything all right? I uh, just want to make sure that the uh, sound currently isn't louder than I am. So, if anyone in chat could please confirm that, I'd appreciate it. Right, so everything is normal. So, for some reason, I am not able to capture the emulator. That's pretty weird. Uh, why the fuck am I uh, not able to capture the emulator? Just looking for the emulator, don't worry. I, I feel like I'm going to have to delete the application because for some reason it's just not capturing it. So, audio input capture. Audio capture okay. at source. No, that's not it. So you guys can see the game, but for some reason it's just not. Oh, there we go. You guys can hear it, right? Yeah, the chat is a bit delayed because I can do that I can do the whole um, moderation. You guys can see right there's no quality drops or anything right uh, it's still a bit loud let me see if I can get the audio volume down is it better now Oh, I forgot to do one thing, which is join the uh, uh, the Discord recording room and ping the guest. There we go. If it's still a bit loud, just tell me and I'll make sure to change the volume. Just killing this guy. Hey, 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 what's... Party, what's party? What's going on, party people? Ugh, I cannot I speak. 
let me stream the game for you just so you can see uh, without the delay that chat has. There we go. You should be able to see, right? Oh, yeah. I've also fixed the item issue that I had on the video. Oh, what? Me is loud? Let me fix that for you guys. Okay, you finally talk so chat can confirm if you're still pretty loud. Ami, are you there? Wait, are you there? Oh yeah, you're there. So... Last time we left off, um, I couldn't make food on the video. So now I can make food on the game, which should fix the issue that I had, which is that I wasn't able to go into the cold areas. Uh, so that sh do I not have any meat? Yeah, no matter. So. Uh, the I just needed to make spicy food in the game to fight off the cold. And the best way to do that is just to use the spicy pepper since they are a relatively common item in the game. Pami, are you there? You joined but you're not talking. Let me just rejoin so I can see the audio properly. Okay. <laughs> Can you yes, see Aaron, I cut out Priya. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Ma, apparently, uh, the, st the streaming to Discord and also to YouTube wasn't a very good idea. But you should be able to hear me now, right? For some reason, I'm not, I'm not seeing anyone on chat. Uh, say anything, which is... Can you talk so I can make sure you're dead? Are you there? doing okay, Mark? Yeah. I think it's just my internet having a bit of a struggle. I should probably not have set it up in low Mark? latency. Yeah? Hello? Uh, yeah, I don't think it's a good idea to do it on Discord. Chat, are you guys there? Three viewers, right? I'm just going to make sure that chat is uh, all right. Right. So I tried to do Discord thing, but the issue I had with Discord was that um, I am streaming on too high settings. Uh, I am actually using my uh, recording settings, which apparently are too much for a proper stream, because I set up my bitrate at like 10,000, while the recommended bitrate for a stream is somewhere around um, 2,500. So you know, ooh, uh, I did it too much. So I, something else I did while uh, off the stream was make sure that um, 
I put all the Karak leaves and Karak seeds down in the map so we can do this before yeah the guys just flag from the Dark Souls unfortunately that that's something I wish they added to Breath of the Wild something to heal your yourself that was constant but not as powerful as the food also hi Timmy So, something I forgot to add to the description is that I added a few more mods to the game. So we have a few different sh shields that we can find in the world, along with the ones in the normal game. And, yeah, that's pretty much all I did. It's not that hard to defeat the enemies in this game when you are properly prepared. That's something I really enjoy about it. Like, for example, those guys would normally be a bit more dangerous with the current weapons that I have because they are not very good. But because I prepared myself and shot them. Yeah, I also turned weapon durability off because... I feel like it's a bit annoying and tends to make people turn away from encounters rather than facing them forward because you're just worried that your weapons are gonna break until you have good weapons. So I just turned that off. I also made it so the amiibos uh, have unlimited. I have not played Tears of the Kingdom yet. I am waiting on Tears of the Kingdom to get a uh, Linkle mod um, or some more mod settings and to get better optimized for uh, the emulator on PC because there are just some features that I don't think are the best that they added. Like, uh, the one thing that pissed me a bit off when I heard about it from Tears of the Kingdom is that they removed the Gerudo outfit. Yeah, the inventory management part of the weapon durability thing is a bit annoying, especially when you have the, the Korok seeds and all that. I'm seeing the chat box have a bit of trouble. So let me see if I can change the settings so... The messages don't get de instantly deleted. So they removed the Gerudo outfit from the latest game. Because Link can now enter Gerudo Town without the Gerudo Buy outfit. Because, you know, he saved them in the original game. Which I think kind of goes against some of the um, messaging they had for, you know, the advertisement of the game and all that. Regarding Link being more androgynous and a representation of the player. So, I don't know what Nintendo was thinking, so... Wait, they removed Cass as well? That one I didn't know. Which also seems a bit... Um, uh, hold on, give me a second. Okay, I'm back, just had to do something real quick. 
but everything should be all right now and we got our first spear which i'm not a big fan of like the big weapons and the spears i'm more of a fan of the spears than the pole arms and all those because the spears actually have a fast and decent attack unlike the hammers and all those other weapons but they are still pretty slow in my opinion compared to the regular swords so now we just need to do like one more shrine in the great plateau and we are off your resourcefulness in the overcoming this trial speaks to the promise of hero. In the name of Goddess Hylia, I bestow upon you this spirit orb. And we got the spirit orb. You know, this being my first stream. I think it's good to know that I should lower my bitrate and change the um, the settings for what's it called the internet settings so I can actually stream with my friends which is what I originally wanted to do oh fuck I forgot I don't have the paraglider I was going to use the paraglider to get to the other peak, but I kind of forgot that I don't, I haven't unlocked it yet. Yeah, the puzzle elements in Breath of the Wild are something. Like, I get that the shrines are supposed to be the dungeons of this game. Chinese food sounds good, although I would personally go for Mexican, you know? Oh, there's a Korok over here. <laughs> and we got another Kirk Leaf. You know, the thing I don't really like about the Koroks is that you only need like 400 or something to get all the weapons uh, slots. But um, there's like 900 of them. Like they should just have had. They should just have. They should have just had 900 of them and give you more slots for weapons. Because I mean that the whole point of them is that they make inventory management easier. Yeah, you only need around like. 401 or 420 Koroks while there's like 999 Koroks in the game yeah the, the, the price for getting all of them is just a pile of shit like literally it's a golden pile of shit while in other games I believe they, they would at least give you something cosmetic or like, for example, in Majora's Mask, you'd get the first DED mask. Wow, that makes the bots easier, which I guess is the same as the Divine Beast. Since they practically have the boss HP and of course the Master Sword does like double damage to the boss. And... Uh, I enjoy gazing out at the world from here. This may be the best place to get a full view of the entire plateau. Use your scope to look for shrines. When you locate one, place a pin on your map as a marker. You did well to make it this far without the proper clothing. Please take this warm doublet as a reward for your tenacity. This is what I wanted. A warm pullover typically typically worn by mountain folk. Its sturdy fabric and thick gloves are great at retaining body heat. 
I assume you would want to try it on right away, yes? I thought you might be eager to see how it looks, it's quite fetching. Well, I suppose it matters not, it is yours now. Do take care to put it on before you get too cold though. And we got another cute outfit for Lincoln. So this is the warm doublet, doublet. And she looks pretty cute with it. Yeah, a Majora's Mask is a hard game to get into, at least in my opinion, compared to like, um, what's the other one called? Ocarina of Time, yeah, because Ocarina of Time doesn't have the whole time limit mechanic. Yeah, the boots make it, the outfit a bit cuter, although we need to get the proper the snow boots before anything else. The, the snow boots and the sand boots. So there's two more Koroks over here. I don't know where they are. Are they? Please don't tell me they are below the Great Plateau. Like, where are these Koroks? Oh yeah, over there is the Gerudo Desert. I forgot. And we don't, we also don't have to worry about the shields breaking when uh, we don't have durability, which I think is a plus. Because shield surfing is probably one of the funnier, uh, no, not funnier, one of the most entertaining parts about this game. Like, I don't think there's a mechanic in other Zelda games that's as interesting as shield surfing when it comes to the traversing of the world like maybe the bike from of course Breath of the Wild or Epona in Ocarina of Time but for example I don't think the trains in spirit tracks are nearly as entertaining nor give you as much value as the shield surfing does in this game Yeah, no problem, Pierce. Um, thanks for uh, the good luck message. I appreciate it. So, we just got the fourth shrine, and then we'll uh, probably do the Koroks, since I want the paraglider to make the traversal a bit easier uh, on us. And then we'll go and do the main quest. So this is the Stasis Trial where, where we'll get the... Well, not final rune because the camera rune is the final rune. So we got the Sheik Slate. Everything is running fine for you, chat, right? There's no like... Um, the lace or anything, right? Let me change the... There we go. Chat should be readable now. I hadn't noticed that the, the, the white chat on the pastel pink and background didn't look the best so I should have fixed the chat now so stasis is probably the most the, the best rune in the game because it just allows you to make puzzles more entertaining Alright, there's a chest over there. I wonder what's in the chest. I don't remember. Like, I played this just to make sure that uh, the game was stable with 
all the mods I installed I installed but I didn't like properly remember what was in every chest nor shrine I did test it to make sure that the motion controls were fine with the mouse and although they are still a bit annoying uh, to play with they are somewhat manageable with the mouse so there's a whole list of mods in the description of the stream and of course the video but there's like I don't know 50 I didn't count them I did install pretty much most clothing mods for Linkle that I could get though there were a few that I couldn't install because they were for Linkle 3 I should turn the chat delay off it's way too much like maybe one second would be better I mean, 50 is not that many mods for a game like this. There we go. Like, when you consider that some mods just add clothing and some are like dialogue changes. With this, you have now acquired all of the spirit ore from the shrines on this plateau. Oh ho ho, it's extraordinary. That means it is finally time. Linkle, it is finally time for me to tell you everything. But first... Imagine an X on your map with the four shrines at the endpoints. Find the spot where those lines intersect. I should wait for you there. You should probably not sleep at work do you understand where two lines connecting the shrines would cross there i will be waiting i mean 20 mods isn't that much for the game especially when you consider how tiny some mods can be like optifine for minecraft counts as a single mod despite how much it does or there's mods that literally just change the texture and they still count as one mod when you compare them to something like Optifine. So I don't think a mod size being big means a lot when you consider all those factors. So we have to go to the Temple of Time to the top. But luckily for us there's a Korok Seed there. So that helps us a bit with our quest and oh my god the archers are always difficult to deal with in my opinion at least when compared to like the regular bokoblins but we got fangs and all that so it's not a big issue oh yeah I, I've heard about the whole GitHub thing with, um, for example, the Swans Revenge team, developer theme, uh, team, not theme, that just dealing with testers can be a bit of a pain when you consider that they just sometimes don't know how to figure things out, like despite being tr trusted users, which I believe for the Swans Revenge team to let you be a tester you need to be at least like level 20 under discord or something like that but you know oh my god these are the most annoying enemy in my in the game in my opinion because they just appear out of nowhere 
wait, I picked up a weapon, but where did it go? It just disappeared. That's kind of weird. So, thankfully we're not far away from the Temple of Time because of the shrine that we did. We got a peach. That reminds me that I did watch the Mario movie, but it wasn't as good as everyone said it was. Well, at least the people that said it was good. I mean, yeah, but I, f I feel like they should at least have some music to tell you when one of those enemies is about to ambush you. Like, the Guardians have the iconic theme. And, of course, this Duntalus has the team as well, which is honestly one of the best um, themes in this game because it starts off with the pickaxe hitting the rock, which she's kind of hitting, while the goblins and all those don't really give you warning. You who have conquered the shrines and claimed their spirit orbs, I can offer you great power. It appears you have claimed four spirit orbs. In exchange for four spirit orbs, I will amplify your being. So tell me what it is that you desire. Of course, I want the heart container. We want to get the power, the master sword, before we do a divine beast. Yeah, Sonic. The Sonic movies are definitely better than the Mario movie, in my opinion. Like. They did try with the Mario movie, but it's illumination. There's not much that you can expect them. The blessing of the goddess has made you that much more resilient, I see. Here I am. Get up here quickly. So... I remember... Oh, yeah, the pots respawn. Oh, do the rupees on the pots not... Oh, yeah, they do respawn. I don't know. It's probably based off chance, so... I did get... Yeah, I did give it all my orbs. I mean, there's a reason why there's the whole video game movie curse that people talk about. Like, I feel like it's pretty hard to make a video game movie when you consider that you're pretty much removing all that makes a video game a video game from the movie, which is the interactivity. Like, sure, you can make a Last of Us series, but I don't think there's much interactivity with The Last of Us when you consider that the game is pretty much already a movie in its own right. I hate climbing this. I... Is there stairs? I remember there being stairs. I'll check around. Yeah, there's stairs. I don't know why he was trying to climb that way. I mean... If the movie... If the game is a tie to a movie, it's going to work easier than if the, the game was if the movie was tied to the game like you you have to consider the, the the differences in adapting a game to a movie and a movie to a game like I feel like one of the other is easier like you pretty much have the easy part when you make Oh, yeah, cutscene. Oh, 
ドームボスフレームスハイランドかつてこの地にあった国ハイランドその最後の王だ。この国は100年前大厄災によって滅んだと言うたなわしはその時に命を失い今や魂だけの存在となってしまった I、really like、his 記憶の確かでないお主に全てを語れば困難じゃそう考えてわしは仮の姿をとっていたのだ今こそ話そう百年前何があったのか Wait, we have only two viewers?、Oh. それは I don't know who left この国に生まれた魔王が怨念と化して復活した姿なんだガノンは伝説や研ぎ話に現れるものとして語り継がれてきただがある時 I wouldn't say the idea of having fun with Star Wars is gone. 大地に厄災ガノン復活の兆しありだがガノンにこうする力もまた大地に眠る Wait, is that a kitten in a boxing mode? That's pretty cute. その結果陶器祖先の手により作られた遺物がいくつも発見された。I mean, if you look at Star Wars Outlaws, they are pretty much having fun with that title. Or, um, the upcoming series Skeleton Crew. It's pretty much just an 80s freaking Star Wars, and I, those are pretty fun. And they are probably having fun with that. Skeleton Crew. It's pretty much just an 80s freaking Star Wars, and those are pretty fun. And they are probably having fun with that. Skeleton Crew. It's pretty much just an 80s freaking Star Wars, and those are pretty fun. And they are probably having fun with that. ウィンの力を持つ王家の姫とタイマの剣に選ばれし父彼らははるかな太鼓異物たちと共に誠ガノンを封印していたのだ百年前の王国には力の継承者である姫と才道ある騎がいたそこで我らもソ先に習った神を
Like they are pretty challenging, but I wouldn't say they are the hardest in the game. だが、この大地の誇らに運ばれ、100年をかけてようやく蘇生を果たしたのだ。お主が目覚めてより幾度か耳にした導きの言葉。あれは今も入らる城でガノンを抑え続けているゼルダの声だ。だが、ゼルダ
4 remake is a new game. Like they claim it because it reuses assets, but like yeah. Resident Evil 4 remake is reuses way more assets. There are some people on the internet that claim that, like, it's so weird to me. Oh, we don't get any rupees. Oh, the diary. I th did we read it? I think we read it. Oh, yeah, modern storytelling is just based on, um, you know, the MCU started a lot of trends. Like, I'm not saying that they are bad trends, but... Surprise, Corksit, bye-bye. But, you know, it did start a lot of trends with storytelling from the whole... Oh, the whole lamb shading issue that a lot of uh, movies now nowadays have, and... Of course, the whole cinematic universe part. And Star Wars already was kind of ripe for the whole cinematic universe thing. When you consider that they are six different movies in the same universe. But I feel like Infinity War and all those movies, the Avengers... They sort of made something that was already present more of an issue for modern storytelling. Like, just count how many cinematic universes we have gotten in the past few decades. Like, there's the Universal one, now they are trying to make it with Avatar. There's, of course, the MCU. There's the legendary Godzilla universe. Like, for the good and the bad, it's something that modern storytelling has with the cinematic universe. Like, no matter where you look, you, you're going to get a cinematic universe nowadays. Like, some are good, like the MCU and, of course, uh, the Godzilla monster bears. You eventually are going to get a few bad ones. Which, I guess that's life for you. Like, you're going to get good things and you're going to get bad things. And through the... Oh. We get a guardian. And guardians are like these are mo mostly annoying because of their large health pools. Do we have any better weapons? That one deals 10 damage, but the Boca Club deals 12. Yeah, look how much quicker we are dealing with this. Like, they, I feel like that's why big swords are kind of bad. Because, like, you tend to get better weapons with the normal ones. But at least we get parts. So where is the Korox? Or I feel like oh Of course. Oh no, I've been uprooted. Korox seed. Bye bye. Yeah, one of the mods I installed was a simple dialogue mod for the Koroks. Like... Mm. 
No, the Universal Cinematic Universe is way simpler than that. They have the licenses for all of um, Hasbro's um, universes, like My Little Pony, Transformers, G.I. Joe, and those are already kind of connected in a way, mostly because of IDW, but also like in the 80s and 90s. I also want a hamburger. I mean, it's a half joke, but the the new Transformers movie already had the I.O. So it's it's it was pretty much inevitable. Although I. I honestly feel like the worst thing they could have done with those movies was trying to connect them to the papers. Like, I don't know who had the right the, the idea that to say, yeah, these movies are still part of the papers. Like, I get that the papers was pretty big, but well, you caught me, Corksy. And we got seven Korok seeds. And we are pretty much almost done with the Korok seeds from this area. What time is it? It's 3.33. So we are going to go... There. I some of the mods I installed are somewhat graphics, like um, the game comes free bundled at least in the emulator with um. A graphics pack that makes it so everything is uh, 1920 by 1080. Oh my god. Just get in the hall. I mean, I'd say it's less of some things just don't go together and more like it's just bad marketing, like Yes, I know what I was saying. I, I say things for a reason. We almost fell in the mud. So what's in here? Fire arrow. Ice arrow. Wait, what? So, oh, frogs. I need to change Lincoln's shirt. Yeah, th that's. Quicksand mod. Uh, also, pro tip. This doesn't make any more noise than... Than just moving slow. Fresh, pressure to sit dearly. Bye bye So, now we go... South. I mean, it's kind of like quicksand, but it's also mud, so quick mud, quick mud, yeah, that's a word. So, there's a car exit somewhere around here. Oh, it's probably in this tree.
trick or treat. Bye bye. The Koroks have a randomized dialogue. Stamp, delete stamp. And now we go over here. And what's that? We got rubber drumstick. I prefer this to steak. The meat is tougher and chewer, it tastes better cooked. That's weird. I don't need a stick. What? How many weapons do I have? That's... That's weird. Yeah, we we killed a bird. What's this? Shiny things? Acorns. Acorn or acorns? The skeleton hand is a very interesting item. Like, they could have just not made the item, but they did. Yeah. Don't tell Hest who I was slacking off. Quirks. Wait, stamp, delete stamp. And we go over there. Raw meat. With just the release of an arrow or the swing of sword, I bring to you raw meat. It could be eaten raw, but it's best cooked. That's weird that it's showing it as if I, it was the first time I got it. I don't know why that's happening. I like the little backpack. What, what quest do I have selected? Oh yeah, seek out Timpa. What's that? That's a flower. It's a blue nightshade. I've always seen myself as the kind of girl to live the last part of my life somewhere quiet and peaceful. My granny wanted to, I would have liked to garden with it. I don't know what I said. Okay, so where are we going? Oh yeah, here was the stone talus. My first boss defeated. I guess a mini boss is more appropriate. Uh, appropriate? Uh, appropriate? And we kill them. Arctangent. That's a pretty fun word. Arctangent. Did this guy drop anything? Oh, we dropped arrows. It dropped a lot of arrows for a pretty low level enemy. Yeah, that's the defeated all the enemies in a special camp. 
it sound it basically unlocks the chest seared steak the meat has been cooked over an open flame and it's tastier than before eating it restores more of my life force yeah i don't know why it's showing me the item descriptions as if it was the first time i got the items Opal, I can sense the power of water. I already read with that one as well, I believe. Oh no, I didn't. It's very valuable and could be very useful. Or maybe not. It's worth a lot of rupees. Rupees. I remember Morshu saying that. From Zelda CDI, but also YouTube Poops. And we get a bunch of peaches. I should probably save just in case I die. Which I don't expect I'm going to, but you know. Mushrooms. Don't tell me I have to climb. Oh my god, I have to climb. Tell me there's a better way to get up there from here. Oh, of course. Of course. Why didn't I expect? Yeah, I'm very skilled at the game. Is there any enemies in there? There's no enemies in there. Fire arrow. Oh, of course. It was a trap. I mean, it's not tomb raiding. These are pretty much alive. It's just raiding. I, you know what I've always wondered? If those, if these skulls are like an actual living being that got killed, or if it's just the rock formation if it's something the goblins made like what's the deal with those skulls and i don't think the game ever tells you which i think it's pretty cool because it keeps some of its mysteries intact right so now we gotta go and climb more Ancient burger giants. You know, their skulls are pretty much burger shaped. I haven't noticed that. Okay. Oh, yeah, I cannot cut the grass with the, the coming club. Only two viewers. You know, for my first stream, it's not bad. But considering I have 106, 76, no, 71 subscribers, I expected a bit more. Okay. I'm not discouraged, I'm just interested in how much viewership I'm getting for what's essentially my first stream. Oh, 
Oh, I missed. Oh my god. I cannot believe I fell for another arrow. And I get the cobbling fangs and horns and horngus and um Segomizers. Yeah, that's a word. I know words. Roasted bass. Oh, it's flaky and saber smelling. It restores more of my life first than the raw version. And a big peach. Do you guys know what a Sagomizer is? It's a... I believe it's a Stegosaurus tail um, bone thing. Oh, it's such a pretty orange and yellow. I could make some jewelry with this or some quick ru rupees. Yeah, the Sagomizer. Okay, and the Korok is somewhere around here. What? Where is the Korok? Am I looking up, down? Oh. It's here. Yeah, Stegosaurus tail spikes. That's the Stegomizer. Don't tell Hesto I was here. We delete the stamp. And... Oh yeah, I cannot go to the... Sh oh no, I can go to the Shrine of Resurrection directly. I forgot I didn't disable that. I did disable the teleportation to the shrines because I prefer to walk and I feel like it encourages exploration, which is, I guess, the point of the game. So, you know... Well, so how are you guys liking the stream setup? So how do I climb up there? Oh, from here. Yeah, I I, t I teach people about the Thagomizers. My streams are educational. They are not just for entertainment value. You get uh, knowledge and um, this is art. You know, it's a shame that Breath of the Wild doesn't have chicken wings as an item. Like, why the size only? You know? Where is the Korok seed from here? Oh. The kisses are not as annoying as the skeleton, as the stalpa goblins, but they are still pretty much annoying. Is there something? Oh my god. I didn't mean to do that. This peaches. Well, I, I assume chicken wings are edible. Oh, the keys wings. No, they are not edible. Although you can make them into um, potions, which uh, give you different effects depending on what you cook them with. Although I'm not super knowledgeable in how to make potions in the game. That's a bit more out of my control. Wait, is the the, the the Korok directly in the Shrine of Resurrection? You know, I'm going to leave these Koroks out, off of the thing 
and do the main quest because I'm already kind of tired of looking for Koroks and I already have a pretty good amount of Korok seeds. Well, the thing about the potions in my opinion that makes them less useful is that while well, yes, they have bigger effects than say a food item, they don't restore hearts and I that doesn't make them as appealing for me. What's wrong with a bird with three legs? Birds can have as many legs as they want to. So I'm going to go there and there. And probably to the peaks of those mountains. Yeah, the bird had... It didn't really have three legs, but you know... The drops from the the creatures can be a bit deceiving at times. Oh, this is a good opportunity for me. Funny, I don't remember asking for your help, and now they'll call me the rude one if I don't thank you somehow. Sneaky meat pie grants a low level stealth boost. You'll need an extra napkin, Linkle, so that told me as I couldn't resist this delicious pie. Heart. It was made with tabanta wheat, goat butter, rock salt, and two raw gourmet meats. Hmm, I'll get any next time for sure. And you, what do you have to say for yourself? Thank Helia that mean I safe. I knew it wasn't smart to go treasure hunting in these parts. Yeah. Oh, I didn't mean to pick the Bokoblin Club. Why do I have two torches? I don't want the Bokoblin Buc Club. Nor two torches. I only need one torch. Oh. Right. Oh, what am I doing? It's far easier than that. Oh, I don't have that stasis rune yet. I don't have the upgrade to the stasis rune. I mean, yeah, durability, th that's the one thing that disabling durability removes from the game. Like, some drops just become useless over time, overnight. Fireflies are also useful for the same thing as monster parts are, and I probably should look into how to make potions. Oh, these guys. And they are done. Give me your fangs and your parts. They are also useful for selling. So this part is infested with guardians because it's closer to Hyrule Castle but we do not care about that Shins Yeah, Guardians are way over here like this is the best area for farming guardians, but it's also the most dangerous part of the game. And we can't even teleport. We got acorns. Oh, those guys again.
the good thing about those is that as long as you show them you can take like a bunch of them at once they just leave now i have a better idea for a song that i could last while dodging guardian beans hardy radish radish this radish can be found in the sunny plains, growing full of love and compassion. It temporarily increases my life force. The, the, the bad thing is that we are just losing arrows left and right. Do I have any other useless weapon? No, I don't have any other useless weapon in my inventory. Uh, yeah, I, I have a good idea for a song that I could play. Let me see if I'll do it though. Um, TF2 spy infiltration song from the Meet the Spy trailer. That that is a good song for infiltrating places. I get distracted by defeating the kisses and all those monsters that I forget to do commentary. Oh yeah, look, our first victim. You know that the bottom spot is a weak point for guardians. The basically, if you shoot them there, it does as much damage as the eye. break the legs it doesn't do as much damage as the eye but it leaves them as stunned as if you hit them in the eye oh my god can you please just the gu the guardian didn't take me out the fucking style Moblin did. Oh my god. I'm not going there yet. I'm going to the other way. To the intended part. I need better weapons and to upgrade my clothing. I could take the Guardian out, but it would take me far too long, and just going there without a horse would take me even longer. So I'm just going the intended route of the game, for now. Don't think that means I'm keeping up, because I'm not, I'm just saving time for you guys, because it's not as entertaining to see me bashing the same enemy over and over. Or like way too much I need to eat food now you idiot and this is the buck bat a clunky club made by a bokoblin you swing it at an enemy shield it may be able to knock the shield out of your foe's hands to grab it. 
Okay, and we got the things. What is sleeping? Oh. It's dead. Use Josh Woodward to sound oh. A surprisingly splendid horn grown by a moblin. I can use it in food recipes, but it does seem useful as an ingredient in making elixirs. With one swift punch in the teeth, the tank well fell out. That's the story I would tell, but it was really just lack of dental care. I guess I could use it to make an elixir. And it's the same text. Ancient screw? Wait, that. I don't know why it's doing that. Oh. Oh my god. Yes, the butt of many enemies is their weakness. Maybe I should reload the save and that will fix the items showing like that every time I pick one up. Yeah, that should have fixed it. Rusty halberd. A rusty pole arm likely used by knights in, from an age past. The spearhead is in bad shape due to its prolonged exposure to the elements, so its durability is low. Traveler's sword. I almost got Dark Souls. East Post Ruins. So I'll show you guys a trick you can do in this game. Oh, I didn't do the trick right. Oh my god, it's not fixing the bug. I have to edit the save file again. Yeah, I don't know why it's doing this bug. So annoying. Maybe it's because I have zero rooms. That's probably it. I don't know why it says zero if since I did pick some up. Oh, there's a shrine over there. Oh my god, it hit me with the fucking mop. Idiot. Oh, farming hoe. 
It's a farming tool primarily used for tilling fields. Its fine craftsmanship is sturdy enough to withstand backbreaking field work, but its vital applications aren't tested. Just a mop to the entrenal, it had set excels at standing up to place, but it doubts its sturdy construction to a true craftsman, so it actually has some combat merit. You, why did I even pick up this dreadful thing? It moves around by itself. But it must have a use, right? Rusty broad so this one's fearsome sword has been has seen better days. It can do some damage in the right hands, but it also breaks quickly. Yeah, I don't want the rusty broad sword. Flint. Ruby amber. Kill the goblins. Amber, yeah. So I don't know what shrine this is, but it's good that we are picking up shrines in the way to Impa because that means more hard containers. The wind guides you. Bosch Kaula's Shrine. Okay. Well, I get what they are trying to do. Oh my god. And what is this? Amber. I already read that one. So what do we get from here? Is there anything useful? That's is this literally just to return? Yeah. There must be something here if they oh yeah. So the shrines are good. But they are very tiny, and that's my only complaint with them. Like, if, if the shrines lasted more, I would be happy. Soldier's Claymore. Does, you know, it does not give us a custom backpack. I forget which swords gives us the backpacks. I know it's the Traveler's one, and I think the Royal one. Right. Let me see if I got my notifications on Discord. I don't have a notification in Discord. Spirit Orb. May the goddess smile upon you. How long I haven't been streaming? One hour, 40 minutes. That's not what I had. Burning things, right? grass catches fire especially easily and that fire spreads quickly I will probably do some more streaming next week don't expect the stream on Saturdays or Sundays that would be probably pretty rare Who is this guy? I might be somewhat used to seeing bad omens by now, but that, well, let's just say it's better than most. We're doomed. I mean, don't panic. Sorry, who are you? Have we met? 
Well, doesn't matter who you are, really. I was getting tired of talking to myself, so you come at a good time. By the by, those strange things that popped out of the ground, did you see them? I'm not talking about just mushrooms here, I'm talking about those towers. They seem to have popped up all, all over the place. And that's not the only strange thing that's happened. Those long deserted shrines suddenly started glowing. You know what this means, don't you? The end is here. With all this craziness happening, I've been keeping an eye on that thing. Just to see if it suddenly starts moving. Did you know? What thing? I'm talking about that garden, of course. Haven't you heard the old stories about Hyrule? See that thing over there? The one shaped like an overturned urn? That is what I'm talking about. Did you know some of them can move? One of them chased me down and tried to kill me. This one here? No, it was a different one. The one was closer to the castle of the Four the Forest. When they spot you, they shoot blue beams of light at you. Man, I was so sure that was the end for me. I was prepared for the worst, but I somehow managed to escape into the nearby woods. You think it was my lighting vials reflexes that saved me? Ha, huh, I wish. Through this, I just got lucky. Anyway, I hear guardians like that still wander around Hyrule Castle. Be careful. Thanks, buddy. And this is just so we can rest. My guardian. This one's probably dead. Ancient spring. I already read that one the other, in the other spring. Oh yeah. Look. The birds. They are um, left wings from Skyward Sword. I modded that in. Because I think the left wings make some sense when you consider what the next game is about. Yes, the burbs. Yeah, in Tears of the Kingdom, it's basically just Skyward Sword. It honestly amazes me that they didn't bring back Loft Wings for Tears of the Kingdom, even though they probably would have been gone extinct or just evolved. Oh, I cannot. My enemies is still locked. Do you like seeds too? Korok seed. I would appreciate no spoilers about um, Tears of the Kingdom. This is good practice. Oh, Sneaky River Snail. It's a glow in the dark snail. That is so cool. When cooked, it heightens my senses so I can look about silent. Just like it. Oh my god. I couldn't parry in time. Okay. Just like that, they are done. Octorok Eyeball. What I wouldn't do to make them not see me. Store spice this and I can make elixirs with them, but my other compass tells me they have other uses. This guy will always catch me off guard. This tentacle is too acidic for cooking, but it's apparently a high valued ingredient. Wow, this is actually really fun. I can just attach something to it and bloop. It'll start to float just like that. I wonder if it will work on me though. That bug is definitely not going to get annoying. Oh my god. Please. Just let me grab them without showing this every time. I think I need to edit my save fault because I feel like there, there's a mod somewhere that's just doing this.
There we go. Oppo. Yeah, the jingle can get annoying. At least when it's it sounds every time you pick up an item. If it didn't sound every time you pick up an item, it wouldn't get annoying. Or at least as annoying. Yeah, this game can be a bit like Looney Tunes, can't it? Restless cricket bouncing around, bouncing around, bouncing. When cooked with monster parts, it creates a stamina recovery elixir. Oh, I think I prickled my finger on the turns, but the fruit is useful. It contains a compound and increases my attack power when cooked. Oh my god, my sword is going to burn, my bow is going to burn, my shield is going to burn. There we go. I'm, 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 I'm a bit angry because you know yeah I, I rip in pepperoni Oh my god, I almost made the same mistake. Okay. I fixed the mistake. That was an easy fix. Soldier's shield. Oh, I get a better shield now. One that actually blocks damage. Frog. Now let me aim properly. Okay. 
there we go. I already picked some of those, so I don't need to read this. Yeah, the big boom is very use good. Oh my god. I need to fix this bug. <laughs> yeah, I need to fix that. I'm probably going to do it not this episode, but for next time. I'll ensure it, I promise. Also, I probably should end the stream soon. I've already gone for like two full hours. So this is our first tower. Our first tower outside of the Great Hotel. Which means it's our first fast travel point outside of the Great Plateau. I'm glad you guys had fun. Yes, the tower. We are climbing a tower. Oh, look, Satori, the Lord of the Mountain, is available right now. Uh, hold on a second. Okay, so I won't be ending the stream soon. I'll, I probably have like two more hours of stream on me. 
and then I land it. Yes. Okay, shoot the tower. Two more hours of gameplay from me. I could probably do a stream like this some other time, some other day, and maybe even stream multiple games. Yeah, I fixed an issue I had. Oh, no, not the issue with the game. That one, I, I actually probably can fix it right now. Yeah. Yeah, two more hours. Okay, so you guys want me to fix the issue. I'll fix it. So let me just save on save. I'll move to the Chinese screen. I'll close this. Now I open this. I mean, I'm still reading chat, so don't worry about it. I just have to edit the save data for the game, which is not a big deal. I, I already know the path to the... the oh, there we go. The path to the save file, which... Should be in my save games, single folder, in data that side. Open the file location. So, what I need to do now is go to the, to the material section, increase the rush room by one, and I think, is there any other item I have at zero, which shouldn't be the case, it doesn't look like there is. Yeah. Of course. Now I go to my downloads folder and I replace the back end. And now everything should be fixed. Let me just reopen the game and I'll check.
I got myself some apple juice from So now to test if it works it's just an easy find the fish and check if the fish registers as a new item or as a Hyrule Bass. Did I have oh I already had three Hyrule Basses. It's not that thing that's okay, so options graphics pack mods armor limit more weapon slots disable that weapon limiter disable that what else could it be save uh, just chatting Restart the game. Yeah, that happens because of the switcheroo, you know. Okay. Continue. Where is another fish to test? Fish. Where are the fish? That's a frog, okay. There's another fish. Oh my god, the bug is not fixed. I wonder what the fuck is causing the bug. So, is there any item I have that's right now at zero? Do I have any extra swords or things that could be causing a bug? going to close the game check any of the new mods I added see what if there's anything that they do that could be causing this bug this is annoying okay BCML house enhancements check the mod okay read the comments Okay, I'm going to disable that one. Disable. Un unmissable, missable weapons. Okay. Read the comments. Issues. There are no issues with that mod. I already had that one installed last time, so it's probably not that. Um, where's my other window with mods? 
permissible missable cooking expansion. I already had that Wind Waker Mirror Shield. Could this be? Are there any issues in the comments? No, there are not. Are there, uh, there are no issues with this other mod. There are no issues with this mod. There are no issues with this other mod. What is the issue? Okay, this one I already had. This one I already have. So, I uninstalled the single mod. Let's see if that's it. That should be the, the only mod that could be causing an issue. I mean, th there could be conflicts, but I don't think there's any real conflicts. Like, the, the biggest conflict I could think that there is, is the weapons mods, and I don't think there should be an issue with those. Okay. Is there any fish? Okay, there are fish. What do you have fish for me? Mighty carp. Mighty carp. Oh my god, it's it's the same issue happening. Okay. Okay. I'm trying to think. Why is the banana blue? Was it blue? I don't remember if it was blue. Okay. Could it be that I have too many Korok seeds? Closes. Check the last modified save. I mean, I cannot think of anything else that could be causing the issue. Like, um, it could be one of the mods for items, like... Um, I could try disabling them one by one, but that would be... Okay. Night Shovel. Disable. Let me read the comments. Yeah, that's true. Code is annoying. The, the annoying thing is that before installing these mods, I did test it on my own and it worked. Like, 
th th that's the thing that's annoying me the most. I'm disabling the mods I know work, don't work. Like I'm only keeping the ones I know work. That one works. I tried. I tested that one in my own um, save file, and that one works. Like it's not that. Disabling some of the new weapon mods that I installed because it could be that. That's that's those are the only ones I could think could be doing something. Installed like four new weapon mods to the game that I didn't test beforehand. Mostly, they mostly are classic Zelda weapons like um, the Majora's Mask Shield, uh, Hylian Shield, and the, the Razor Sword from Majora's Mask. Yeah, those four I did not test. But I'm just trying to see what it is. I don't think I have an idea of what it is. But I might have an idea of what it is. The, the only annoying thing is that disabling mods takes time. I'm sorry chat that I have to put you through this, I should have tested this beforehand, but I only installed them last night and I, I, I'm sorry. Okay. So this should have theoretically fixed things. Let's see if any of this changed anything. Okay. Is there any fish I can test on? I need to find fish. Wait, 
first of all, do I have that fish? It was the mighty carp. Oh, I missed it. Oh, there it is. Okay. The moment of truth. Oh my god, one mod fix it. One mod, one of those mods was the, the trouble. Chat, here's the thing though. Here's the thing, chat. Pay attention to me. Do I quit the game and test them one by one? Because that's what I would do on my own. If it was by myself, I would totally do that. But since it's in stream, I'm not sure if it's a good idea because I already put you through so much. Let me make it more entertaining for you guys. What did the other three here say? There's three chat members, remember. Here comes Kirby to Meta Knight to protect because he's a Burger stream would be a great idea. So I'm going to show you guys the process rather than doing it on my own. just downscale this because it's a different screen you guys can see now right right so this is VCML the, 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 the cell the mod manager so I'm going to enable them one by one and see what the fuck is happening And you guys are going to sit here with me and look at it. You're going to look at it and 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 see the behind the scenes. But because uh, it's a stream, I'm, I put the music, which is something. That's something I would not normally have if it was by myself. The suffering is together. But you guys have the luxury of having music which I normally forget to put for myself. Do you guys like the music selection? That's the most important part, honestly. Because I'm thinking I'm doing another one of the music ones for... Um, What's it called? This one is more jazzy music, while the other one is just the music I like. Oh my god, fish. Okay, so Hyrule Bass. That, that mod was fine. Thank you. I greatly enjoyed that you guys enjoyed the music. Right, so next, oh right, the fucking play knight. Now, let's go, Takamaru sword. A katana, now that's a katana. Has any one of you guys watched Ruby? I was so disappointed with volume, um, what's it, no, not volume, yeah, volume four. Everything after volume three just kinda sucked, like, Great for Bumblebee, but 
fuck everything else, you, the rest just died. So Ruby is a web series. It's like um, Rooster Teeth, Rooster Teeth, um, but it just it just bombed after Volume Three. Like the creator Monty Ohm was good in some aspects, like. There's obviously a bit of writing that's going to be off. Every single series, show, and movie has some writing that's not entirely on par with what you'd expect. But the issue with Ruby is that it just kind of, when he died, it just it, the series died. Like I don't know a better way to put it. That worked. That sword is fine. I repeat, the sword, the katana is fine. So next we test. Oh. Next, next we test the classic weapons from Majora's Mask. I worked really hard on this stream layout, so I'm honestly super glad you guys like it. That's very important to me. Like, you guys have no idea how much time I spent rendering, learning, and learning. Uh, where, where is it? There it is. Play. The, the hardest part for me with the layout was the background. You see that it's moving, right? So I had to learn how to do a 3D effect on Adobe After Effects. Yeah, that's that's something that's very important to me. That you guys know the songs in case you like them. And that you guys can see the album art because there was someone who worked really hard on the album art. I like to give the artists that make those things credit. Well, I don't know the artists that made them, obviously, because, well, they didn't credit them on Marvel or most of the games, really. But, you know, we appreciate their work. So that one sword is fine, which was the Majora's Mask weapon set, which includes the Majora's Mask Hyrule Shield and the Majora's Mask um, Razor Sword. I mean, I do what I can to show credit to those people. Obviously, I cannot do way more, like put the... Well, I could put the composer name, but I'm not sure if there's enough space for that. And I don't know if most of these songs have a a credited composer because some uh, for example in super smash brothers ultimate i don't believe they tell you the individual artist who made the remix for every single remix in the game because that's something smash Bros. ultimate does they they remix previously composed songs but well, I know there's plenty of real estate down there, but I also had to keep in mind that eventually I want to put the faces of stream guests down there, or I could move the chat somewhere else. Like, I could move it on top. I also need to make a better um, layout for for the controller input, that's something I, can, I need to think on doing. And I need at least four spaces down below for heads or VTuber avatars or whatever. I also, go, I'm going to need a last subscriber thing, a super chat no notification, which I haven't done because I'm using the super chats. 
I need um, last member or in last Twitch subscriber, whatever. I, I honestly prefer to stream on YouTube because there's less this restrictions than on Twitch. Okay. That one mod is fine as well. So, the only two mods that remain that I haven't tested. The Night Shovel, which is uh, from Shovel Knight, which I heard that one's a bit buggy. Oh no, it's only that the Night Shovel, so I guess it's the Night Shovel. Yeah, that one is the buggy one. I uninstall. Get it, get it over. Get it done. Yeah, there we go. And now I launch the game. You know, if it was just me, I would be more annoyed with having to do this. But because I have to reach chat and interact with you guys, it makes it less tiring. You know, I could move the chat box. Make it bigger. Okay. There we go. Better. Maybe... Mm. Yeah, that looks better. That looks better. Chat box. And now I delete this. Yeah, I should remove. Continue. What's that emote? It looks like face turquoise drinking coffee. Okay. You know, I like coffee, but my, my coffee taste is unusual for some people. Because the way I drink my coffee, it's basically ice cream. I like to drink uh, Frappuccino. Yeah, the YouTube emotes are definitely way more cursed than, um, of course, um, other platforms like Google. So Sur surprisingly, the YouTube emotes are cursed, but not the YouTube ones. Why is the chat box not working? Why is the chat box not working? Oh, there we go. It, it just lagged. Okay. No need to get angry. Okay. Now we go and get the shrine. For me, I like my frappuccino. We get a blueberry shot, vanilla. And um, four sugars, um, chocolate syrup, and of course, um, caramel syrup. And I think that's it, really. I, I like the taste of coffee, but not when it's by itself. Like, when, when the, the coffee is by itself, it, it's just too strong for me. Like, I like strong flavors, like, of course, um, a good cheese. Cheese is delicious. But when you're, you, you just have, like, coffee that's so strong and it kind of burns your throat and it's so smoky and you taste the smoke. It has to go with something. You have to balance the, f the flavor profiles. You know? There's there's a reason why you pair cheese, strong cheeses with crackers and wine and fruits in charcuterie boards. Oh. Oh my god, let me 
Let me climb your butt. Oh my god, I have a better weapon for this. When am I... No, I don't have a better weapon. Heal. Eat, eat the peach. Oh my god, don't roll. Eat the peach. Eat peaches. Peaches. Climb the butt, climb the butt. Oh my god, we, we did it. We defeated another one of those. The stone talus. I honestly didn't know there was a stone talus in here. Like, I, I thought I was safe. Silent shroom. Shadow of the Colossus is one of the games on my list. I have a big list of games I want to play. Maybe we could do a multi-stream sometime later. Um, I'm thinking we could do like something like Sonic Roboblast to cart with uh, King and Fami and Drisk. And of course, um, th the same day we could do something else before that, like... Maybe some Fall Guys or Bug Fables. Like, uh, mm, I was going to say horror games for like Halloween, but I'm not sure I could do that. And I, why Halloween? I don't even like Halloween. Like, I. Mm, well, for chat, maybe. I could do spooky games, but not horror games. I could do like um Penko Park which is just Pokemon Go but with cryptids. No Pokemon Snap, that's one. Yeah, I don't like horror games. The one horror game I somewhat have enjoyed is Resident Evil for the Nintendo 64, but um, I'm not too sure if I would do horror game streams like Maybe. Okay, where am I going? Yeah, alright, there's a shrine on top of this. And it's an annoying shrine. That I don't want to bother doing, so I'll look up the answer on Google. Because this one is very annoying because you have to fly around. And do things that, that you no know other shrine forces you to do. And that makes it extra annoying. The, the, the most annoying shrine for me, in my opinion, is this one. I know some people find the golfing shrine more annoying. But I don't think the golfing shrine is as annoying. Like, people just don't know how to play golf. Like, that's not my fault. And like it's the golf shrine is so easy like why why do people think that one's so hard okay oh I went into the wrong peak I paid that trouble more than you bye bye Die. Okay. The Shibanat Shrine. Okay, wrong thing. Wrong thing to minimize. Oh, wrong thing to open. No, it was the right thing to open, but I opened it in the wrong monitor. 
Okay. Sheba not trying. Sheba not trying the Legend of Zelda. Take it better. Okay. We skip. I don't like these cutscenes. Okay. So, how many rows are there? Three, five. Okay, it's orientated that way. Yeah, this, this shrine is annoying because it's the twin shrine of the other one on the other peak. But it for the game forces you to travel between peaks and take notes. So you have to enter each shrine two times. Which is not entirely fun. Because unless you have a lot of stamina, it just takes a bunch of time. And it, it's not super fun. Okay, and we did it. We solved the, 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 the not puzzle. It's not a puzzle. You have to travel between the two shrines and it takes more time. Oh, there's a chest. Fuck. A shrine that's not a good shrine. Oh yeah, Lincoln has freckles. Where's the chest in this shrine? Is there not a chest in this shrine? Was it the other one? Can I not climb this? No, I cannot climb that. That would have been too easy for this shrine. But no, you have to travel between the two shrines and do the, 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 the notes or take a screenshot with your Wii U, which makes the puzzle so much easier. And it's still the dumb puzzle because you have to travel between the two peaks of two mountains, but at least I don't know. I just don't like these shrines. Like, out of the, every single shrine in the game, including the motion control shrines, I just think this is what the worst by far. Okay. Yeah, we get the spirit orbs. Oh my god. Climb. Cheat the system. Cheat the stamina system. We are cheating the stamina system. It still, mind you, sti it still takes more time than if we just could teleport, which we can't. This game is pretty big. Like, I don't think even I could... I have seen every single bit of the game. And in my own personal time with my Wii U, I did all 120 shrines. Technically, I haven't done the DLC shrines because I bought the DLC, like, before the eShop closed. And I could, I forgot, I just didn't play it on my Wii U, but I did extract the, the, the game files from my Wii U for everything. So we could do the DLC shrines, and I did install a mod for the bike. So the bike is not a horse anymore. I repeat, it's not a horse anymore. It's something cooler. Okay, we are almost done with this.
die, monster. You don't belong in this world. Yeah. But you, you can practically use anything for fuel. It really is, isn't it? Like, look at this. We need the fucking camera, sh camera room. Like, like imagine, you're the Shika. You have the the legendary runes of power, the magic mana bomb, the stasis time stop rune, the cryonis rune, and the camera app. Yeah, the bombs like. The square and the circle bombs. We've we've used them quite a bit. Like I've used that for 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 um, Shiba Nair Shrine. Okay, Shiba Nair Shrine. Where the fuck is my Shiba Nair Shrine? What's the puzzle for this one? That's not really a puzzle. Okay. So I have to move this ball all the way over there. I have to move this ball all, all the way over there. I have to move this other ball all the way over there. I have to move this ball there. And I have to move this ball there. Oh, wrong. Balls, 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 balls. I mean, the camera is pretty fun, and I, I do intend to get every single compendium photo, but at the same time, please tell me there is not a fucking chest over here and no, please tell me there is... No, I wasted my time again. Balls. Super monkey ball. Oh, I do want to get super monkey ball for a stream. Although I need a controller with pro motion control. No, wait. Super monkey ball is not super... It's not motion control. It's just the joysticks. At least the GameCube version. And we got another spirit orb. Yeah, Super Monkey Ball is an amazing game. Okay. And now there's another shrine. Wait. Alright, I forget. So, if you go here, and you grab yourself a peach, okay, Linko, please. Put the peach there. You can move me from here. It is 5 p.m. over here. Yeah, the time passes so quickly, doesn't it? Well, in the game, in the base game, they are not peaches. They are apples. But I did mod them to be peaches because I think uh, peaches are funny.
Yes, peaches. You did it. Bye bye. So we got 17 Korok seeds. That's a pretty sizable amount of Korok seeds, honestly. It's probably more than enough for a bunch of weapon upgrades. The Ridahi Shrine. The Ridahi. You know what? I don't. Well, I, I don't mind, but I would prefer if there was. Um, a canonical order to which shrines, quests, and so on linked it. The Randy Leahy Shrine. I would prefer to go in the um, Ricky Bubble Shrine. There isn't a canonical order of events for this game. Like, the only canonical order of uh, shrines that at least is in Zoom, it's that um, they did the... What's it called? Bamed... No, it's not Bameto. The... Um, The elephant. The elephant is the first divine beast canonically. Yeah, the, because it's the closest to the Discord, so it's safe to assume Link did the one first. So we got the Climber's Bandana. Climbers, Climbers, Climbers. How do you pronounce that? I know English is not my first language, but I feel like I should know by now how to pronounce that word. Oh, wrong window. Where's YouTube? I need to go to YouTube to check something. In the name of Goddess Hylia, I bestow upon you. I, I probably should end the stream in a few minutes. May the goddess smile upon you. Thank you, Mr. Uh, Divine Monk. You very appreciate it. Now go be Thanos snapped. Okay. Oh, wrong way. Lizard. Die, Mr. Lizard. Oh my god, Mr. Lizard. The Salfus Talon. I wonder whatever these Talons are what allow the Salfus to move so fast. I could use it to make elixirs but my compass tells me it may have other uses as well. This thing is annoying to dodge. Those dissolves already have spears and are super fast, so you have to dodge two sharp objects. For some reason, stores are willing to buy it. Talon. Talon? Talon Marcus. 
isn't that the guy from Jedi Fallen Order? Yeah, only potions. Unfortunately, there's not a crafting system mod. Well, there is one, but it's not compatible with some of the mods I installed. What? You smell it, don't you? Like raw meat wafting through the air. Well, you guessed it right, it's me. I'm a messer. I'm a wandering butcher. Huh? That sounds touch it touch wood when I say it out loud like that. How about I wet your appetite with a little cooking tip? I've got just the thing to make your cuisine sizzle. All you gotta do is add a dash of rock salt to double your dish's deliciousness. I carry only the finest meats. I guarantee these are top choice provisions. Or the rupees back. Okay, let me see what you have, a stranger. Hmm, you can't beat raw prime meat unless you've got raw beer thigh. Oh, those are a bit expensive. How much do you... Oh, you buy these for quite a bit. Let me sell seven of them. Do you buy anything else from... Oh, you buy pretty much everything. Ah. Mm -hmm. Sort material. The Legend of Legends. Shrine nearby. Hold on, let me check something. Um, somewhere else. So, if I go here, I mean, I cannot do that yet. At least I don't think we have the YouTube subscribers to do that. Uh, it's a shame. So, there's the rate function that YouTube added to streams. Unfortunately, it doesn't seem like it's available to me just yet. Like, I don't think I have enough subscribers for it. I wanted to raid someone, but I cannot. I probably need like 200 to 400 subscribers. Raid. R I R A I D. Like Shadow Legends. Raid Shadow Legends. Basically, just like YouTube's. No, Twitch's raid function. Left wing. Oh, don't skate, you mm. Yeah, there's a new rate function to YouTube, although it doesn't work quite well. Look at that man. Oh, this is a perfect spot for this. Rusty broadsword. I have a traveler's claymore. Arrows. Do can I make it? Can I make it? No, I don't think I can make it. But Right there. We have time for another shrine, maybe. And I probably will stream Monday. Yeah, Hadahamar. Hadahamar shrine. The hammer. The hammer. We can build pillars 
horizontally, not just vertically. Oh, is this the annoying shrine with the ball puzzle? The ball fondler puzzle? Yeah, it seems like it is. Oh my god. Please. Okay. okay. I can probably do this. Yeah, I can probably, I can do this right, like that. There we go. Is there anything else over here? And we unlock the door. The door. Oh, that was it. I thought for for some reason I thought that that one would be longer. The doors, yeah. We got five spirit dwarves. That's quite a bit. We got five spirit dwarves, seventeen korok seeds. And 286 rupees and 9 shrines total. Wait. Wait, if we have 9 shrines total, shouldn't we have... Oh, yeah, I spent 4 of them. Of course. Why didn't I think before? Okay, Beetle. Yeah. Hey, I don't believe I made your acquaintance. The name's Beetle, but you can call me... Actually, let's just stick with Beetle. But even if you forget my face, you can remember me by my beetle-shaped backpack. Despite these dangerous times, you'll find me traveling all over Hyrule to fulfill your shopping needs. I stock many special bugs and must have items for travelers, and I always charge a fair price or my name's not Beetle. I also buy all sorts of things if you're in need of rupees, gemstones, in particular fetch a high price. How can I help you today? What have you got? I'm sure I have something you'll find useful. Please have a good look. So, arrows. I actually need a bit of them. Oh, he doesn't sell that here. That's a shame. I was expecting him to sell an es a special item. But he doesn't seem like he carries it. Torch wood. Acorn arrows. Don't tell anyone I'm doing this. I've got the scoop on Miska's treasure and it's great. Listen up, Dak. Price and hang on. Hey, Letty, what's your problem? You aren't being incredibly rude and listening to our conversation, are you? Which are treasure hunt? We are tr we are treasure hunters on the trail of our latest core, the treasure of the great bandit Misko. It's as good as ours. Price and you're going to give it all away. Sorry, Dak. I've got carried away. Anyway, we're busy here, lady. If you need something, pick it up with someone else. Rude. Okay, this is a good time to do something. 
in particular. So, if I go here... Don't worry, Nintendo, I bought my Amiibos. So... There we go. Oh, fuck. Okay, options full screen. Welcome to my stable. We deal in all things horse related. We also double S and N. Huh? I haven't seen your face before. Do you know about the stable system? Yes, I do. Oh, pardon me. Let me start over. Hi. Welcome to our stable. If you come with a wild horse, you can register it with us here. Or if you want to stay for a rest, please head to the counter inside. So what will be being? Register horse. Gotcha. You sure this is the one? Not a problem. We charge the registration fee to help support our conversation efforts. The fee also gets you a locally made saddle and bridle for your horse. The fee is 20 rupees. Is that okay? Yes. Thanks. Okay, please enter a name for your horse. Wait a minute. Isn't this opponent a horse of legend? What are you thinking? You can rename a horse of legend. Pretty sure there's a law against that. So, opponent is it? The registration is complete. Would you like to take your new horse? Would you take horse? Thank you. We'll see you next time. Oh, and by the way, you get separated from your horse. You can whistle and it will come running. <coughs> but your horse isn't magic. It can hear you. You're too far away, so do keep that in mind. There we go. We got a horse. And the road to Kakariko Village is pretty straightforward. Yeah, we spawned horses here. What's that? That's just a wall. Oh, fuck. I'm sorry, Epona. Kakariko Bridge. We spawn horses. So, Epona is a big horse. Oh, of course. How could I forget? <laughs> this is the guy we were looking for. Shalaka, you? You can see me. I can see you. Shalasa, Shalaka. It's been 100 years since anyone has been able to see me. I'm Hestu and I need your help. Those monsters over there stole my beloved Maracas. I think they're still here on the other... Still there on the other side of those rocks. I can use my powers without them, Shoko. So please, please get my Maracas back from them. The Priceless Maracas. And okay, I need to eat food. killing these Verdeck, Rani Samalets and Crepes were to die for, but I would have fetched these eggs since 
She was too old to do it herself. Gotta be sneaky and snack them from the nest. Egg. Bokoblin horns and fangs. Horns, Horngus, Beaches, Arrows, and so on. Hestus Maracas, Hestus Belop Maracas, he's been shaking them since he was two years old. And... We are healing a Pona. Pona, eat the apples. Shalakala, those are those are my maracas. Please give them to me. Shalaka. But wait, there's something wrong with my maracas. The crop seeds inside are gone. How am I supposed to dance now? Shoko. If I had just one crop seeds I could sing dance and use my powers to help you. You see, I have the power of inventory expansion, so let me know if you find some crop seeds. The children of the forest must have taken the corrosives from my beloved Maracas. I never thought I'd be the target of one of their pranks, Shoko. Sniff. But wait. Do you have a corrosive? You do. You got a corrosive from one of the forest children. If you'll give me just one corrosive, I'll make your inventory bigger in return. Yes, please. So which touch do you want more slots in? Swords. Shaki Shaka. Yes. I want at least four more sword slots and one for bows and one for shields. Weapons, two card seats. Oh, yeah, Shaki Shaka. So we got two sword slots and sorry I have to go but I still need currency so bring me some to correct forest if you need any. Or did you wanna talk a little more? Correct seeds? Oh I cannot expand more? Yes, we do get a neat little show with it, each expansion. What's this? Who are you? Oh. We killed another Bokoblin. I got a question for you, Akido. Are you much of a mountain climber? I was back when I was your age. Nothing getting me going like the sight of a treacherous cliff, daring me to climb it. I'm seeing a few things I picked up in my travels. Doesn't cost to look. I'll take a look. Don't let the weather get you down. I'll tell you what. I'll set you some of my special reserve stock to cheer you up. Oh, these are a bit pricey. Thanks. Need anything else? Goodbye. Take care out there. Oh, right. I forget this. I had a pretty good spot, huh? Bye-bye. And... Now 
we can finally go to Kakariko Village. Horse, the horse. Yep. You there, who are you? How dare you trespass upon Lady Impasabode? Hmm? Is that a chic slate? But that would mean you are. No, it's not possible. Can it be? Please forgive us for behaving so rudely. Of course we have heard the legends from Lady Impa herself. Please, friend, go ahead and step inside. Yeah, it's a nice cozy village. Nice job, Miss Hero. Bye bye. Peaches. A girl? Huh? Is that? It's a chic slate. Could you be the hero my grandmother told me about? What was her name? Le, le, mm, mm. Oh, it's not that I forgot. I'm just bad with speaking. As for me, my name is Pa, Pa, Pai. Oh, my name is Paya. Phew, I got it out. I know I should be able to say that easily, seeing as how it's my own name and all. I'm so sorry. Anyway, my grandmother's been awaiting your return ever since I was little. Please, please hurry inside. It's grandma. If you squint your ears, you can barely hear her say Linko instead of Link. What is the matter? You are looking at me as though as I am a stranger to you. Those eyes, they like the light of familiarity. It is I, little one, Impa. Surely you must at least remember the name Impa. I see, so you have lost your memory. Well, it matters not. In fact, that may actually be a blessing in disguise for the time being. Dearest Linko, please come a bit closer. Yeah, squint your ears. Tell me, where is Link? Still in the slumber of restoration, you say? I'm afraid this is not good news. But wait, something is different about you. Ah, I see now. You have risen in your brother's steed. The goddess has then chosen you as Zelda's champion. We have much to discuss. A hundred years ago. Yes, a hundred years ago, the kingdom of Hyrule was destroyed. After Link fell, Princess Zelda's final wish was to place him in a sacred, sacred slumber. And then all alone, alone, she went to face Ganon. Before Princess Zelda went to nobly meet, no, nobly meet her fate, she entrusted me with some words. She wished to pass on, should a hero rise. I have been waiting 100 years to deliver the princess's message. However, these words which the princess risked her life to lead you well, if you are to hear them, you must be prepared to risk your life as well. But I am afraid that burden may be too much to bear while you're still without your memories. I leave the, the choice to you when you feel you're ready to receive the princess's message. Return to me. And I think with that, 
I'll actually be leaving the stream and um, leaving you guys to wait for the next one. So thank you everyone for watching. Thank you everyone for coming and being so nice and uh, experiencing this first stream with me. And I hope to see you guys on the next one, which will hopefully be sometime soon. And bye everyone. And uh, make sure to go check the Discord in the description before. Because there is a Discord in the description where we, um, Insanity Wins and me, do streams and all that, the video notifications and all that, and maybe there's channel memes or whatever you guys want to see, and we can.